Well, this is a very hot topic. Uh, actually, there's a lot of discussion, a lot of going on on sequencing. The first thing uh, to, to mention is that we really don't have solid data and studies that are, were specifically designed in most instances to actually uh, investigate the role of sequencing, whether we should use uh, one agent after the other, different mechanisms of action, the exposure to targets and mechanisms of resistance. So it's really hard to give a uh, robust recommendation Indeed, data from clinical studies and also data from real life studies show that if you were, if you are to use a CAR T cell therapy, it is best to use CAR T cell therapy first, followed by a specific antibody rather than vice versa, as bispecific antibodies may impair T cell function and therefore your results with CAR T cell therapy may be uh, suboptimal. Uh, indeed, also the target matters. We know that there are, we have quite a good amount of data of gprc 50 after BCMA. There's nothing that says that you cannot do the opposite. We just have less data uh, on that. So I think that the prior exposure to a BCMA agent is important to, uh, to understand whether to go for another target, which seems now the most commonly adopted uh, strategy, although there are also some anecdotal uh, patients that receive BCMA after BCMA with different mechanisms of action and still work. So I think so far I would say if you can use a CAR T cell, use it first and then a bispecific antibody. If your patient is relapsing after BCMA targeting agent, probably now, unless you're really able to investigate the mechanism of resistance in a specific patient, changing to the another target such as GPRC50 is a good strategy overall.